According to the last census, there are around 740 towns in Minnesota, give or take a few. Uh, of those, 594 are considered small towns, which are towns under 5,000 people. Which asked, uh, we asked what small town you consider the best in Minnesota. Chris Schaefer takes us on a tour of Nisswa in the Brainerd Lakes area. First person that I met. Do you have a Nisswa story, Sean? Yeah, we have everything here. It's a pretty safe guess that when you get a group of Nisswa city and business leaders together on a big day such as this, you're probably going to hear some pretty glowing remarks about the town. I would say it's, it's location, location, right? I was born and raised in this area and uh, lived in the cities for 18 years. But wait until you hear the stories about the people who left Nisswa. I went to Nisswa Elementary School, um, went away to college. And then, years later, moved back. I just felt that the, the hometown, the draw. 18 years after I left, I moved back. And now my kids are going to Nisswa school. You know, you just come right into Nisswa and you're home again. It's at that point you'll realize what a special place Nisswa holds in the hearts of these people. It's a special town. It just, you leave for a little bit where you want to come back. Heartfelt sentiment for a town that almost wasn't. What attracted the lumber people here were the huge stands of beautiful white pine. And to do that, you had to come up in a railroad. So the railroad had already come through Brainerd. They were going to go from Hubert and pass by Nisswa. Local historian Dick Carlson paints a vivid picture of how a costly topographical mistake by the railroad caused them to change the proposed route of the tracks. So they had to tear up a 600-foot trestle they'd built all the track back to Nisswa. But the coming of the railroad also opened the door for a new kind of business. The reason it came to tourists, obviously we have these beautiful lakes here. The new rail line had cut the trip from the Twin Cities to Nisswa from four days to six hours. People flocked to the area and so began the Brainerd Lakes tourism industry. Summertime is obviously very busy with tourism and we and that's a big part of what drives the economy in our town. I think that we just figured out that there's over 45 days of the year that we actually have some type of event going on here. From turtle racing, Swedish dancing, to their big fall festival, it's pretty obvious Nisswa likes to party. And then of course the best one coming up, it's called Nisswa City of Lights. It's like taking a Hallmark movie scene and putting into downtown. It's really, truly our favorite event that we do all year. Because it feels like I never left. Run out of my office and say, you know, hey, John, how's it going? They have to raise turtles. <laughs> Each one of these residents may have their own reasons for loving this little town nestled amongst the trees and lakes, but they all have one thing very much in common. It's just a friendly place. They are all more than eager to share all they have with the rest of us. We are all proud residents of Nisswa and the we're the best small town in Nisswa. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, while Nisswa is a small town this time of year, the population can soar by thousands during the summer months.